that is you a trick Cause I'm running out of breath And my patience wearing thin A house divided will never stand You couldn't agree on the rock So you're sunk in the sand So this is why we're here Putting out a call To open up your eyes So that we can see all Of the problems The mishaps and the big mistakes And separate the leaders From the phonies and the face Brought to you in part by Spectacle Productions, volunteer television at its best. And the Paul H. and Angela R. Herring Fund, determined to make a difference. Also by the Juneteenth Committee, asking African Americans to join the village. And the Kwanzaa Committee, asking residents to bring the holiday home. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of our volunteer staff and or supporters. Good evening, my name is Pam Gerald and welcome back to part two of our interview. In the studio tonight we have the other half of Genesee County's dynamic duo or tag team for justice, Prosecutor David Layton. I just wanted to remind the viewers that both candidates ran unopposed in the primary, and that sounds like history to me. Uh, Prosecutor Layton, welcome to Common Ground. Pam, thanks for having me on. And I would like to thank you for this opportunity of interviewing you, the other half of the Tag Team for Justice, and thank you and your wife for being so supportive of all of the causes uh, that I participate in. Thank you very much. Well, it's our pleasure. Thanks for inviting me here, and it's always good to see you. Mm -hmm. You thank look you. lovely as always. Thank you. See that? Thank you. <laughs> I want to get right into the interview. Um, and just to recap that this is the first time in recent history in this county that the sheriff and the prosecutor ran unopposed in the primary. So they are, once again, your reelected elected officials. Uh, let's get right into the interview. Tell us why you decided to run for the office four years ago and why are you or why did you seek re-election? Well, I've always been interested in the community and doing what I can to make Flint and Genesee County a better place to live, a better place to work, a better place to raise a family, a better place to grow old and retire. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted to do what I could. And I thought that as a lawyer who's been long active in the community and I served on the Flint Township Board for 12 years and I felt that with uh, Prosecutor Bush leaving office that there was an opportunity to do some really good things in the community to fight against violent crime to fight against the onslaught of drugs that are taking too many of our youth uh, and to protect senior citizens and to protect children mm -hmm. and I felt that the prosecutor's office was the best place <laughs> Uh, from which I could do those kinds of things. And in my first term, these past four years, we've accomplished a great, great deal. Yes, you Violent have. crime is down, as you know, Pam. Mm -hmm. uh, we've put a serious dent in gang activity mm -hmm. in the city of Flint. We have uh, arrested and convicted a number of people who have embezzled from either their employers or from people who put them in positions of trust. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that we've made progress. But my work is not done, mm -hmm. and that gets to the second part of your question, mm -hmm. why am I seeking re-election? Because I want to continue what we've done. Mm -hmm. um, there's still crime, there's still people doing things they shouldn't do, and there are other things we can do as well to outreach the community, and those are the ty kinds of things that I want to accomplish in the second term. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you'll do a great job just like you did it in the... Uh in your first term. Please tell us about the structure of your office in terms of your employees and the different divisions within the office. The Genesee County Prosecutor's <clears throat> Office is the fifth largest prosecutor's office in the state of Michigan, mm. behind only Wayne, Oakland, Macomb, and Kent counties. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 75 employees, 37 of whom are lawyers. Mm. Uh, it's divided into a number of different divisions starting with the administrative division of which uh, there's me and there's a chief assistant and a special assistant, community liaison individual and some clerical support staff. Uh, we have the circuit court trial division and in that division we have uh, lawyers who take the serious felony cases to trial or handle them in the circuit court. Uh, those are the felony cases where the punishment is more than one year in prison. Mm -hmm. We have a district court warrant division where all the cases start. Uh, the police officers will come to that division. 
they will meet with an assistant prosecutor. They will uh, provide evidence that if we believe there's probable cause, we'll write an arrest warrant. So all the felony cases start there. Those same lawyers who write the warrants will also take those cases to the first stage of the criminal justice proceeding, which is the preliminary examination. Mm -hmm. And that's a probable cause hearing at which my lawyers will have to show by evidence that there's probable cause to believe that a crime was committed and probable cause to believe that the individual that we've accused is the one who committed that crime. Mm -hmm. So that's the district court warrant division. Mm -hmm. We also have a division with lawyers in it and clerical support staff that um, prosecutes juvenile delinquency cases. Mm -hmm. And that same division also prosecutes neglect and abuse cases. Mm -hmm. Juvenile delinquency cases are when a young person under 17 years of age commits a crime and has to be dealt with in the criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. Those lawyers appear in front of the family court judges and handle those cases. Those same lawyers also handle the abuse and neglect cases in which we represent the Michigan Department of Human Services. Uh, sadly, there's many young people who are abused yes. and or neglected by their parents, and we have to be the ones to oversee uh, their care. We get them into the court system, we take jurisdiction of the children, and I have lawyers who watch those cases and make sure that the ch children are properly adhered to, uh, placed if necessary, or that we get the parents to step up to the plate and do the right thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have a division that handles strictly a appellate cases. Whenever a case is adjudicated in the circuit court, uh, oftentimes a criminal defendant will have a right to appeal in the court of appeals. Mm -hmm. I have three lawyers who do nothing but review appellate, uh, cases Wonderful. for appellate review, Wonderful. oftentimes taking them to the court of appeals, mm -hmm. the Michigan Supreme Court, or the United States uh, appellate courts, mm -hmm. be it the Circuit Court of Appeals in Cincinnati, or the, even the United States Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we have a division that uh, enforces child support obligations. Mm -hmm. Too many times we have fathers who don't pay their child support mm -hmm. obligations. They want to have children, or maybe they, they don't want to have children, but they, they created a child, mm -hmm. and then they step away from their obligation. Mm -hmm. Well, we represent the state in trying to see to it that those fathers pay child support and also acknowledge the fact that they're the father of the child. Right, right. So I have a federal grant that pays for lawyers, paralegals, and clerical support that does nothing but enforce child support obligations and mm -hmm. paternity cases here in Genesee County. Mm -hmm. We also have another division made up of uh, social workers mm -hmm. who advocate for victims of crime. Mm -hmm. Too often in the criminal justice system, we think about the rights of the defendant, as well we should because mm -hmm. it's a constitutional right, mm -hmm. but we also have a uh, division of people who care about the victims of the crime. Right, right. And in Michigan, as you know, Pam, we have a constitutional amendment that says that we must provide services for victims of crime. And mm -hmm. we do that through the use of four social workers, two assigned to the circuit court mm -hmm. and two assigned to the district court. Mm -hmm. And they help those victims get through the process. You and I understand the criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. uh, I because I work in it, you mm -hmm. because you've studied it. Mm -hmm. But so many people who come in contact with the criminal justice system don't understand what court to go to, what the proceeding means, right. why a lawyer jumps up and right. says, I object, why there's